Hello and welcome to a new video. Today we're going to take a look at all different shadow Pokemon that are currently available in Pokemon Go. On the right side you're going to see all the different grunts which we're going to go through as well and also we're going to rank them all. What I have to say here of course, PvP is my main focus because my channel is about PvP but I'm still going to talk a little bit about the PvE ranking as well. S tier is basically top tier for PvP, A tier is mainly um, raid Pokemon plus very decent Pokemon for PvP, B tier is okay Pokemon for PvP that can be kind are decent in some certain cups. C tier is not really usable, like slightly usable maybe, but has some potential in the future really. And then D is what currently is completely unusable. So um, what I have to say as well, before we start, A tier is going to be kind of flooded, which I already took a look at before, but let's move on right immediately. Here we're going to see the first one, Kecnia. Kecnia, new shiny Pokemon, a pretty bad Pokemon right now. I guess I could put it into the C tier, it's between C and D tier. Um, has a signature move which you might get from a community day eventually, but right now not really great. Machop. Machop is going to be a re-release, so for me it's kind of not really that interesting. If you just look at the Pokemon itself, it's definitely A tier. It has some potential in the Great League as well as Ultra League. Not so much Moss League, I took a look at this recently on the channel. Um, very good for PvE though, and especially for Rocket Grunts, because you're gonna get fast to the charge moves, which is really cool. Next one is going to be a new shiny as well, which is going to be the Trapinch. I'm gonna put it into A tier. Has some potential, I just mainly put it into A tier here because it's a new shiny and it's like the kind of most interesting one from the era, to be fair. For PvP itself would be more B tier, but because it's a new shiny, I'm going to put it A tier. Of course, this list is not scientifically proven or anything like this. Next one, we're going to have the first S tier Pokemon, which is going to be Bellsprout. Very good Pokemon. Very good Pokemon for PvP. Um, so good in the Great League. Like, it's still so overpowered after so many seasons. Like, it's definitely something that has quite a lot of play in the current meta, which is kind of flooded with a water type. So, Victory Bell for sure S tier. Next Pokemon, we're going to have a Bagon. Bagon, oh never mind, Bagon is actually the next Pokemon eventually. It's actually in the Grunt afterwards. But we're actually going to have the Bucket type Grunt first. Bucket type Grunt, we're going to have Scyther first, which is going to be an interesting Pokemon. Has a shiny chance, which you can see on the right side as well. Going to be an okay Pokemon to use um, for PvP with like the Scyther, like not Scyther, the Scissor. The Scissor is still kind of okay in some certain smaller manners like Halloween Cup. Not so great in the Ultra League anymore. It was actually very decent back in the day. Nowadays, it's not really the meta for it anymore, so it's a little bit worse than it was before. Shuckle, I'm sorry, D tier, not really anything that can be used with it. Sadly, a pretty bad Pokemon. There was actually recently a cup, I think it was like the catch cup for the last season for a little cup where it was allowed and was really, really good there, but it's not worth it. Like, it's literally not worth it, like, for one week at the end of the season to have a Pokemon that's so expensive, not really worth it. Dwebble, maybe has some potential in the future right now, not really great, but um, otherwise, we're going to have Weedle. Was very decent back in the day. Kind of needs another update, I guess. I feel like actually that the extra change kind of nerfed this Pokemon a little bit more because you get uh, you need one extra fast move to get to your next charge move, which is kind of silly. So don't really like this Pokemon too much in the current meta. And then we have the Drapion or like the Skorupi. Skorupi. I actually gonna put him into B tier. I don't like it into A tier anymore. I did it into A tier when I kind of saw it before. But I feel like it's not really as great in the current meta anymore. It is still a good Pokemon. Again, like B tier, you can still use as Pokemon. I feel like it's not really A tier anymore. Like, it's just my opinion. It could be a completely different opinion. It's closer to A tier than to C tier for sure. But, um, yeah, for me, more B tier at this point. Next one. Now we're going to have um, the Bagon here. Bagon going to be A tier just because of raids. For raids, this Pokemon is great. For PvP, it's sadly pretty bad. Unless it's going to get, like, a new charge move or whatever. We're going to have uh, the Dratini. Dratini, 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 Dratini is going to be an S tier Pokemon, one of the best Pokemon that you can currently hunt for. Also can be shiny, which is kind of cool. And then we're going to have the Gibble, which just mainly because it's a rare Pokemon and has some potential maybe, also especially in the future, I'm going to put A tier, mainly actually because it's a rare Pokemon to be fair. But um, has some potential also in PvE, so that's definitely why it can be there as well. Next up, fairy type Pokemon. We're going to have the first fairy type Pokemon that's not even a fairy type, which is going to be the Alolan um, Vulpix. Of course, the evolutionist fairy type Vulpix itself is not. A tier for sure, still one of the best charm users that you can run. Rolls has sometimes some potential in some certain metas, for example, the Psychic type meta, which like Niantic likes to do, like the Psychic Cup, I don't know why. Um, it's very good in that one, otherwise not really the best for PvP. Actually, never mind, I am totally lying. 
um, A tier, A tier plus, like nearly S tier. Forgot about Galate. I was only thinking about Gardawa. Galate got an update this season, and so this Pokemon for sure deserves A tier plus. I'm sorry about this. I completely forgot about this, but um, at least I realized in time, so nobody can write any silly comments about it. But yeah, for sure, very, very good um, Pokemon here as well. The Mawile, I'm going to put into B tier. I feel like the longer the meta progresses and the longer, like, the more Pokemon get, like, kind of buffed up, buffed up, buffed up, Mawile just kind of loses its purpose. Like, I made a video recently about it in, like, the last, like, fast move B-Town team or whatever. I had, like, one recently, which was really, really great with Katana as well. Um, was very decent. I think it was Spring Cup. Um, but, yeah, again, like, it's, it's, it's more for, like, special cups. Not really that great right now anywhere else. Next one, we're going to have one of the coolest Charmers as well though, like one of the hardest hitting Charmers, Woolly Snubble. Snubble is going to be a very cool Pokemon if I would be able to find here. It is going to be B tier, um, very nice damage output from this Pokemon. Again, it's just like, it just kind of, they had better Charmers, like they're just some better Charmers right now, especially something like a Wigglytuff, which is not Shadow yet. But um, that's basically it for the fairy type grunt. We're going to have the fighting type grunt next. We're going to have the hitmons. I'm going to put the hitmons here without really having to talk too much about it. It's kind of what we had the last time we did this tier list as well. A tier is hitmon top. Uh, not, yeah, it's hitmon top exactly. Hitmon top. B tier is hitmon chan. And uh, C tier is hitmon D. Those Pokemon. I wish like Hitmon Lee would get like some better charge move or whatever. Like yeah, it's just like counter six so necessary for fighting type Pokemon that um, it's just like so much worse than the other two, which is kind of sad, but it is what it is. Um, otherwise, we're going to have Machop, which is already ranked. We're going to have the Hisuian Sneasel, which is a cool Pokemon. I'm going to put it B tier. I had it A tier before, but like B tier is more realistic, not going to lie. And then we're going to have Makuhita. <sighs> I cannot put it into D tier after that. Uh, I guess I cannot put it into C tier. C tier is a little bit more fair for it. It does not really have too much potential, I think, even if it gets like a new charge move. It's just not really the greatest Pokemon. It's just like a worst variant of Machamp, which is kind of sad. Next one, we're going to have the Flying type Grunt, which is one of the more exciting ones. We're going to have the Pidgey, which is a new Pokemon, which I like into the A tier. Again, it's more of a new Pokemon like thingy, which I put into A tier. Maybe B tier would be a little bit better for it, but A tier, I feel like it's kind of fair for right now. I would actually recommend you to get one for Great League as well as for the Ultra League. When you see this video, actually, I think I already have a video out for this Pokemon in the Great League, so definitely check it out. It's going to be linked in the end card. Um, but otherwise, still definitely a solid Pokemon to hunt for. Um, also, to get a Hundo maybe by purification for the old Lake is very good for this. We're going to have Starly next. Starly is going to be a Pokemon that is going to be also kind of okay, but B tier maximum. Um, we're going to have the Gligar, which is a clear S tier. Shadow Gligar right now, one of the best Pokemon in the current meta. Like, literally one of the best Pokemon in the Great League. So, so good. Next one, we got actually a Pokemon that I got as a shiny recently, which was my first shiny from a grunt, which is the Teddy Ursa. Teddy Ursa, sadly, pretty bad. <laughs> but it has some potential in the future. The thing is, for this thing, for Ursa Luna, as soon as Ursa Luna gets, like, either, I think, Macho or whatever, or Shadow Claw, this Pokemon is going to be way, way better. Right now, with Tackle, it's pretty bad. But I would imagine that's going to get buffed in the future, so something that you can definitely pick up, but right now, not really that great. Standler, D tier. Not really too much to talk about. Glamio, C tier, not really a lot to talk about either. Like, has a better moveset, but just kind of bad Pokemon itself will never be really great. Um, then we're going to have some Dark type Pokemon, which are kind of underwhelming in my opinion. We're going to have here the Dark type of Skuru, not Skurupi, the Stunky. I'm going to put B tier as well, like Skurupi, I feel like it's kind of fair for it. We're going to have the uh, Rattata here, Rattata, the alone variant, going to be C tier. You can purify it, and it's actually a very decent Pokemon if you purify it. But then we're going to have Houndour here, and I'm just going to put Houndour into DT. I don't really see this Pokemon ever going to have play. Electric type Grant, we're going to have Mareep, uh, B tier, or A tier. Actually, I would put it into A tier. I had B tier before, but I think A tier is a little bit more fitting. Very strong Pokemon. I honestly like the small Spooda here as well. I feel like this thing also is kind of having a lot of play, especially in the current meta. I feel like a lot of Pokemon or like a lot of teams are very weak to electric type Pokemon. And then we're going to have the last electric type, which is going to be Blitzel. Has some potential in the future if it would get um, Volt Switch as a fast move, it just needs a fast move update and would be actually really good to play. So, something to hold on to and not build right now, but very good in the future. Chimcham, I can't see this Pokemon be ever really good, so I'm gonna put a D tier. And we're going to have the new, um, what's called Darmanitan, Darmanitan, Darumaka here, going to be A tier just for raids. Very good raid attacker, but like anything else, it's kind of pretty bad. 
Ghost types, we're going to have the Mistress, going to be a D tier, not really great. We're going to have the Barnett, going to be also a C tier, in my opinion, not really the greatest Pokemon anymore. Back in the day, actually, there was some team from Caleb Peng, which was really good with it, so shouts to Caleb Peng as well. We're going to have here the Driftloon. For me, B tier, I think A tier is a little bit too high for it, but it definitely kind of fits that here. We have Dust Cops, which is also B tier, and we have the Golet, which is also going to be the B tier, because Golet, or like the Golurk, has some potential in quite a lot of um, limited metas, because of the insane amount of damage that you do with the buffed Mud Step. Next one, Grass Step, we're going to have here the um, Turret Rig. Sadly, C tier has some potential in the future. If the Torterra gets mud shot, this Pokemon is going to be great. And then we're going to have Snower, which is going to be an A tier pick for me. Great anti meta pick for sure right now. Next one, we're going to be the ground type. He actually make a mistake because I have the wrong Diglett in the um, tier list, but it's going to be fine because it's D tier anyway. You don't really want this thing. And now we're going to have one. Excadrill, I actually think is S tier. It's great for raids, it's great for some PvP things. I feel like this Pokemon is like has a lot of potential, so definitely something I would hunt for. Um, but maybe could be also A tier, depending on what you really say. Um, and then we're going to have the Wooper, which is for me A tier as well. Craigsire, actually, I have to put S tier. Like, Craigsire is currently ranked 3 on PvP Poke for the Open Great League, and I feel like it's kind of deserved to be here, so definitely kind of is an S tier pick as well. Raihorn is an A tier pick, kind of not really that great in the current meta for the Master League because it's around Palkia plus the Landorus, and it's not really, really fitting for this, but it's still kind of okay. Moving on to the Ice type Pokemon, um, we're going to have here the Snow Runt as well as the Swine Up. Swine Up is an S tier pick for sure. Snow Runt for me is going to be an A tier pick. So spine up, um, very great for raids, plus also great for the Mars League, especially also as a Shadow, very interesting Pokemon. I think actually normal is a little bit better though in the Mars League than the Shadow Memo Spine, just because he can take a little bit the better the hits of the Dialga, which is kind of important, or the fast move especially. We're going to have next up the Poison type Grunt here, which has the Fungus. Maybe a some potential in the future right now, pretty bad. Um, and then we're going to have, of course, the Sneasel, which you already ranked prior. Two new Psychic type Pokemon. I'm gonna put the um, first one here a little bit into the C tier. The Gothita, I think it's called. Gothita definitely is kind of decent there. The other one, Slows, is never gonna be decent. Like, Slows is never gonna be decent. It has really bad fast moves right now, but it's not going to be even ever better, I would imagine. So, like, I don't think this Pokemon ever has some potential. Um, Onyx, ATM, still a very good Pokemon, very, very good Pokemon, kind of underrated. We're going to have the um, Krandos, which is going to be, for me, ATM just because of raids, nothing else. And then we're going to have the Shieldon, which is also going to be an ATM pick for me. Has some potential in PvP, you don't really need to get the Shadow variant, the normal variant is a little bit better, but Shadow is kind of fun for it as well. And so, this Grunt, like the Rock-type Grunt, basically always can give you something that is viable for PvP or raids, which is kind of decent, so definitely a Grunt to go for. Same goes for the next one here, we're going to have the Ferro Seed. Ferro Seed I would actually still put into the A tier as well, Ferrothon, very good in the current meta. We're going to have the Skarmory, one of the main targets that I have currently, S tier. Very cool Pokemon, especially now where, like before, it was kind of clear that the normal variant was way better than the Shadow variant, but right now with the Steel Ring update, Steel Ring Shadow is really, really crazy because you do so much damage against the opponents. Very good Pokemon to have. Sand Slash also has to be um, S tier for me. Um, so important to have the Shadow variant of this Pokemon as well. Great for the Great League and also great for the Ultra League, so definitely something that you want to get. Next up, we're going to have the three starter Pokemon here, which is going to be the Swampert slash, um, forgot the name of this Pokemon, Mudkip. Um, going to be A tier for me now. Like, Mudkip, the issue with this Pokemon is just that there are so many Pokemon that are a little bit higher that do exactly the same, like, literally exactly the same. It's still very viable, like, very, very viable, but for me, A tier is a little bit more fitting right now. Trico has some potential exchange in the future, but gets a better fast move, but the fast move is just not cutting it. And then we're going to have the Torchic, which is B tier for some special cups, but that's basically it. Then we're going to have here the, um, uh, yeah, what's called the Snorlax. Snorlax is going to be, for me, still an A tier Pokemon. Cool for the Master League, cool for the Ultra League. Not really that great for the Great League, just because you have Licking Tongue. Water type Grunts is honestly the Grunt that you kind of want to hunt, because everything is great for it. Emporion, as well as the... Um, other one, forgot the name of it again, um, it's going to be both S tier, like, this is the grunt that you want, like, if you see water type grunt, definitely gonna go for it, there's a female and the male one, and the male one is going to be always the magic cup, which is the final one for today, and magic cup, for me, is actually also kinda in the S tier, like, very low S tier, but, like, for me, this kinda more fitting
moving towards it. So this is going to be my tier list for today. Hopefully you enjoyed this one. Hopefully it's going to help you to try to have a little bit of a overview on what you can currently get. So this is going to be it. I hope you enjoyed it and check out the video on the screen about Shadow Pidgeot and I'll see you then. Bye bye.